Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzer Arcade at BergzerArcade.net and today we're going to take a look at a question I received from one of the patrons over at Patreon.com and they're creating a 3D platform game and they want to know how to get the player to respawn when they miss their jump. Basically, they fall to that, you know, the endless falling type thing. And the problem they're having is that they're using a character controller and it's not that much different than if you weren't using a character controller, if you were just using physics or something like that. But I set up a small example here. Let's take a look at it. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit play, and you can move around three dimensions, and go ahead, jump from platform to platform, but what you're interested in is what happens when you miss one? Well, you're gonna want some sort of collider down at the bottom. For this example, I've gone ahead and put a plane down there, and I've, I've gone ahead and thrown a lava texture on. I was gonna make some animated lava flowing around, but I wanted this just to be a quick example. But anyway, you're gonna want some collider down there, and when you collide with it, that's when you respawn. So let's go ahead, we'll take a look at how this is all set up. It's not that hard. This plane at the bottom, I've gone ahead and called Respawn Detector. Let's just go ahead and we'll just get rid of it. And now I just have the skybox. And we're in the game view, so nothing special down there. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go and add a plane. We'll just recreate it. And we want it pretty big to cover the whole area, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scale this out by 100 on X and Z. And we want to lower that down to wherever it is that you want the respawn to happen. Uh, what am I going to do like negative five on the Y? And here's the key. I've gone ahead and I already set a default layer up for it, which I've called respawn. But if you don't have one, you can use one of the ones that's already created. Don't use default as that's what uh, everything in, when you put it into your game is assigned to. Uh, transparent FX might work for this one here. We don't really use it for anything else. But if you want to go ahead and add your own, go ahead, just add it in wherever you want it. Now keep in mind, you only get 32 of these layers and Unity uses eight by default. So that means you only have 24. So you're going to have to share them throughout your project. Because once you run out, you're out. But go ahead if you want. I made mine respawn. If you want to make yours respawn as well, go ahead, type that in. Then we're going to go ahead, select our plane, make sure it's set to that. And then I've gone ahead and put all the code in one script. And let's take a look at that next. So the script I've called respawn and I have one public variable, which is the spawn point, which would come into the game. I've added this to my player, as you can see down here. And I've gone ahead and just dragged the spawn point in. And the spawn point is just an empty game object. Just a spot that I can see where I want my character to respawn after they die. And well, here's your magic. We're going to call on controller collider hit, which is a function provided by Unity. And it pertains to actually if you're using the character controller. And what it passes in is controller collider hit. And I'm going to go ahead and take that variable. And I'm just going to compare the layer that the collider of the game object that we collided with. And I'm going to see if it's equal to whatever it is that we made for our layer. So in this instance, we called ours respawn. And if it is, then I'm going to do something. In this case, I'm just going to call the function reset, which you have down here, which just throws out a debug log statement and resets our position. Now, of course, you can go ahead, throw your sound effects, your animations, anything you want to do down here as well. But I like to keep it separate from up here just so I have that flexibility. It's easier to add down here. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Add a plane. And of course, I did have a special material for this plane. Uh, there we go. Another thing too is maybe you don't want to have a material down there, in which case you can come up here and turn off the mesh renderer. And if you've got one of those really nice sky boxes that maybe you're doing a, I don't know, maybe you have a space theme platformer and you've got the whole space around you, still works if you miss your jump. When you hit it, it respawns you. That might be a little too close, but anyway, you get the idea. And again, just a quick reiteration, the function you're looking for is on controller collider hit. It's in the Unity docs. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>